Hi everyone, this is Wendy here from My Menopause Transformation. I don't know about you, but when I went into my menopause transition, and uh, it's, it's probably started around my late 40s, early 50s, when I started to understand that my joints were so sore and aching all the time. I wasn't able to tolerate the exercise that I had been doing for years, and uh, my aching um, hamstrings and muscles and, and my knees were just driving me insane and then of course along came the plantar fasciitis the plantar ligament is the one that goes under the arch of your foot and I just found that I couldn't do any jumping or any of the exercise that I had done for years and it wasn't until I was lecturing at Waikato University and I was teaching a um, paper on um, some of the changes that occur in female athletes around their joint health when they come through their different sides Cycles. And I was uh, talking about the incidence of knee injuries in female uh, athletes at a point in time when their estrogen is at its lowest. And it was like a light bulb moment for me because I suddenly realized, I thought, wow, I'm in my menopause transition when estrogen is at its lowest. I wonder what is going on in my joints. And that's when I began to understand that we have numerous estrogen receptors in our joints. Um, those of you like me who've been exercising for a number of years, you've got lots of little bursa around your uh, knee joints and all, all your joints that help to lubricate them. And of course, these rely, our, our joints, our tendons and our bursa rely on estrogen. So what happens when you come through menopause and you your um, estrogen is declining? Well, I've got the answer for you in my Joyful Joints module. and you'll discover that there's a compound in olive oil that takes over the role of estrogen as we um, come through menopause. And it is just such powerful research that uh, has been done through the Olive Wellness Institute and other places around the world where they've really looked at the role of the Mediterranean diet on joint health. And if we can use some of those strategies as we come through our menopause transition, then of course we'll go into to our healthy aging years, being able to be functional, um, physically functional again, and to be able to enjoy the hiking and the skiing and you know everything else that we want to continue to do. So if you go to the My Menopause Transformation website, click on the programs link, and down the bottom of that I've got a module um, that I've made a standalone module. It's called Restore Your Joyful Joints. Um, you, if you don't want to come on my 12-week program, then but your joints are sore, then please uh, get that because I really want you to hear the information in that. And don't forget about the masterclass on menopause. Go to the website, have a read of it. There's just a small f um, charge for it because I host you in my member area, and um, you know, just just really try and understand what is happening as we come from perimenopause to menopause menopause to post menopause and it's the post menopause that I really want you feeling healthy and vibrant and being able to get out and about and enjoy your life uh, because we've got another hopefully 20 or 30 years ahead of us so have a look around the website um, email me if you need to I'm Dr Wendy Sweet I'm a woman's healthy aging researcher and I've untangled our menopause symptoms and put them into lifestyle um, science so lifestyle medicine science and uh, you know once you understand what's going on around your body and how we can just have a bit of a, a midlife revamp to change our food our sleep get sleeping again um, and improve our joint health and just change our exercise a bit to actually accommodate the hormonal changes that are going on at this stage of life so um, get with it and have a look at the website, read my blogs and contact me if you need to.